Also to Gary. Also to Gary, big outside clip. It's a really good throw and it's great fun to practice. So let's break it down a wee bit. That's when we come back in. So, now, this throw can be done with the same leg back. This throw can be done with the leg back, but for safety reasons we want to carry it forward. Now, here's the first thing. Put your foot. And be willing to step back and step back. That's really important. You see, I get there. The movement, then we start to, these things have to be done live, eventually. But we have to start somewhere. Foot to foot. Now, you see the grip? Right hand on the collar, and left hand on the sleeve. Now when you're making the grip, put your emphasis on the, the three fingers here. Because that means that you're not getting your wrist twisted. Okay, so I'm sure I'll talk about that later on as we go. So as you step in, you want to go shoulder to shoulder, and you want to turn the wheel. So you bring this man's balance over to this leg. And in this throw, we're talking about throwing him in that direction there. Okay, so, so turn the wheel, foot to foot. Now the throw is step in, turn, hit through, reap, and fall forward. So for me, okay, there, my, the motion on the completion of the throw would be this. I'd be driving forward as he fell backwards. Now, to learn to throw, to continue to throw, throw, throw all the time, it's just hard, hard falling. So we want to train safe. And that's what Uchikobis are really useful for. And then providing you have a good training partner, which I do, my friend has been my training partner for many years, you can, um, you can categorize the energy required and assist each other to move forward in this stuff. So, here are some ways that we work this to try and improve our understanding and our body mechanics of this role. First one, as I go foot to foot, I want to teach myself to be to have my hip in and to have my body driving forward. So I go foot to foot, hip to hip, and lift the leg. You see? So I'm bringing Manfred forward with my turning the wheel. I'm going foot to foot and hip to hip. And what that does is it makes sure that this doesn't happen. This thing, see where my hip is going back? You see? And then we just end up with a tussle here. Bad form for me. I haven't taken his balance. And he's going to turn this on me, no problem. So stepping through with your raising your leg gives the chance to go hip to hip. But also we want to go shoulder to shoulder. When, when the two bodies meet, when this body turns, so does this one, okay, see? But if we don't go shoulder to shoulder, hip to hip, this body turns on its own. So we want to get in and make the contact. And one body will turn gather. So, so now we've got that feeling for it, we now make a attempt at the next stage. Keeping all the good points in mind, just turn the wheel, foot to foot, hip to hip, and now make the entry for the sweep. See? And back. Now, sometimes what happens is um, when you're first learning this thing, uh, no one, not really no one, but many people are too rigid. Everything is very rigid. They hit the, the back of the leg they crash the leg, or they come in at an angle like this and, and put pressure on the side of the leg, to keep their feet up like you've seen there, and a lot of things that are not beneficial uh, for the throw itself, and also for our training. We want to cooperate in order to get good at this stuff. So you want to keep your leg nice and relaxed, put the good points in, and then point your toes, put the back of your leg here against the back of your training partner's leg, Bring them close to you and come back. 
Um, that's mine here. I don't want it to be getting bent back and back and back. We're going to do these dozens and dozens of times. So he needs to, he gives the leg forward so that he doesn't stand like this and get bent back all the time. And he makes strength in his core of his body. He doesn't make it rigid, but he makes sure that he's not getting manipulated around all the time. Because we want both to have fun with this and to train, make good progress, and minimize possible injuries. So, step and hook. Keep driving right over his shoulder. And that way we can get lots and lots of entries here. Now, you take a look at moving and doing this. So what's going to happen is, if we move in that direction, we move together, Mamma is going to leave a gap for me. Watch it this way. So as we move across the dojo, see here's the gap, here's the gap. So, that way we can start to get a little bit of a next stage where we get some movement. Here we go. Thank you. 